As Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie join a growing list of Hollywood stars who are emerging from Tinseltown's wall of silence to condemn embattled mogul Harvey Weinstein, we are hearing directly from the producer. I'm going to take a shower. You sit there and have a drink. That's Weinstein in a 2015 recording made by one of his accusers, a model, after she agreed to be wired for an NYPD sting. Why did you say you touch my breast? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Come on. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. Here's no, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on. Sit here. The charges were dropped. In a written statement, an NYPD spokesperson tells PIX11 News, quote, the detectives used well-established investigative techniques. The recorded conversation with the subject corroborates the acts that were the basis for the victim's complaint to the police a day earlier. This follow-up recorded conversation was just one aspect of the case against the subject. This evidence, along with other statements and timeline information, was presented to the office of the Manhattan District Attorney. The Manhattan DA's office argues the case against Weinstein fell through after a lack of interagency cooperation. Quote, the seasoned prosecutors in our sex crimes unit were not afforded the opportunity before the meeting to counsel investigators on what was necessary to capture in order to prove a misdemeanor sex crime. While the recording is horrifying to listen to, what emerged from the audio was insufficient to prove a crime under New York law, which requires prosecutors to establish criminal intent. It's about getting people in the door and letting them know that we are here to help. In this back and forth, it is easy to lose sight of the fact that ordinary women across the country, far away from Harvey Weinstein and Hollywood, are often wrongly blamed for being a victim. In cases like this, when, when there is somebody who has victimized a number of people, one of the first questions we ask in the community is, why didn't she report it? Why didn't she tell someone what was happening and prevent it? And I think the question we really need to be asking is, why did he do that? Why did he hurt her? Weinstein is reportedly still staying in a Los Angeles hotel and has not made good on his pledge to enter treatment.